Welcome to another Spread Cheetahs video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheetahs website. In this video, we'll see how to subtract days in Excel. In Excel, dates are treated differently from numbers and text. Internally, Excel stores each date as the number of days since January 1st, 1900. This uh, method of storing the dates as a single number permits us to use the functions in Excel and the operators to add and subtract dates. For the sake of display, Excel also has a number of formats so that the dates are displayed in a way that is easy for us to understand. So let's see how to subtract days from a date. In this example, I have a list of people and the number of days they have worked. So using this, I want to compute their date of joining by subtracting the number of days from today. So to do this, I will use a today function, which returns the current date, formatted as a date. And from today, I will subtract the number of days worked and press enter. Now you can see that it has given the date of joining as 27th uh, November, which is 46 days before today's date. So since today uh, returns a number formatted as a date, when I subtract the number of days, the result also is formatted as a date. It is important when you're doing addition and subtraction in Excel to use the, uh, to format the numbers as, as dates. If they are formatted as numbers, you will not get the correct result. I can then drag this down to the rest of the column and I get the dates of joining for each one of these uh, people, which has, uh, because of the formula, which has subtracted the number of days from today's date. So this is how to subtract days in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.